हैप्पी डे टू ऑल दिस इज़ निवेदिता फाउंडर ऑफ श्री आहना फिजियोथेरेपी एकेडमी आर टू डेज टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट लम्बो पेल्विक रिदम दिस लम्बो पेल्विक रिदम इज नथिंग बट द कम्बाइंड मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द फीमर द पेल्विस एंड द स्पाइन इन ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट द ट्रंक फ्लैक्शन से इफ आई हैव टू बेंड डाउन एंड टच माई टोस आई शुड ब्रिंग अबाउट सम अमाउंट ऑफ ट्रंक फ्लैक्शन सो दिस ट्रंक फ्लैक्शन इज स्प्लिट इन टू टू पार्ट्स one is the lumbar flexion happening up to 45 degrees the other one is the anterior tilting of the pelvis which contributes to around 60 degrees of the motion so what happens here is the eccentric contraction of the spine extensors they will act to bring a controlled motion in the trunk flexion so when gravity is pulling you down what has to keep you stabilized it is the extensor muscle of the spine say the erector spinae of the lumbar spine so this will keep the movement that is bringing you down that is the trunk flexion movement is controlled by the eccentric contraction of the erector spinae the same way what happens anteriorly is your hip flexors they will go in for concentric contraction so this will bring about a leverage to the range of motion so the point to remember here is to bring about trunk flexion the first part that acts is the lumbar spine and the second one is the pelvis to bring about erect posture from trunk flexion what will act is the pelvis has to act first and then followed by the lumbar spine extension so what happens here is when we try to bring the spine erect the pelvis has to posteriorly rotate and this movement is initiated by the hip extensor muscles which are the hamstrings and the gluteus maximus this posterior pelvic tilting happens till the erecta spinae takes up the role of bringing the spine extension and bringing it to neutral position so the main thing that is happening here is the contraction of the hamstrings and the gluteus maximus has a higher torque than the spine extensor muscles so this is why they will not be put into too much stress that is the spine extensors will not be put into too much stress in bringing back the spine to neutral position because half the work is already done by the hip extensor muscles now let me explain to you the relationship between low back pain and lumbar pelvic rhythm say i have to do forward bending so this trunk flexion requires eccentric contraction of the spine extensors so that it controls the forward trunk flexion movement if my extensor muscles that is the erector spinae muscles are weak or are fatigued what will happen is our body weight itself will be overloaded on this extensor muscle so this itself is going to cause injury pain and stress the next thing that we are going to see is the bringing back of spine to erect position from forward trunk flexion so for this as i told earlier the pelvis motion has to occur first if my hip flexors are tight and my hip extensors are weak what will happen is too much loading will occur at the spine extensor level so this is in turn going to injure the spine extensors muscle so this is why the lumbar pelvic rhythm is very important in low back pain so now when we treat the low back pain for lower cross syndrome it is necessary that we have to treat the upper cross syndrome and we have to keep a check of forward head posture and this correction will help in normalizing the lumbar pelvic rhythm too so this is when your treatment for low back pain will be successful thank you